It's very good to be able to worship with you. And we're very thankful for all of the care and support that we've received from Meadow Springs over these past years, and especially these past few months. In a moment, I'm going to share a video of some of my students and a colleague at the University of Livingstonia Faculty of Theology as they discuss their perspective over how they're adapting to the COVID-19 realities for this past year and a half. After that, we'll have an opportunity to be able to answer some of your questions directly that you've put forward to us. We're meeting in this format via Skype because as I'm working for Presbyterian World Mission, they're quite strict in not allowing any of their employees to meet with individuals and present on their ministry. So we are thankful for this opportunity and for the continued partnership between Meadow Springs and Presbyterian Rural Mission. Thank you. My name is Dr. Phoebe Faith Chifungo at the University of Livingstonia, where I am the Dean of the Faculty of Theology. Hello, my name is Lasson Otnakamanga. I'm from Malawi and I'm a graduate of the University of Livingstonia under the Faculty of Theology. Reverend Augustine Masaogo. I'm a minister in his vineyard. I've just finished my Bachelor's of Arts in, it, in Theology at University of Livingstonia. They suggested date for graduation is on 12 October 2021. and Gloria Muru Kankata a student, was a student at Unilea, graduated in 2014 with my first degree. I went to the congregation Lunyina in Inika Presbytery under the Synod of Livingstonia. In 2017 I came back to the college, to the university, to study masters, and I haven't finished yet. In 2018, I was posted to the office as a women's guild director, and I'm still the women's guild director. And this special education has helped me a lot in my ministry. I'm currently serving the Lord under the CCAP Synod of Livingstonia at Chipina Congregation. Where I am, I'm probably the only minister who has gone through theological training. And many people need sound doctrine. This theological training helped me a lot so that I can be able to teach the sound doctrine that is needed. Unilea prepared me for my ministry, really, in the sense that it gave me necessary tools to be used in God's vineyard. Finally, let me share with you the impact of COVID. Number one, we had some students who were infected by this virus, but we thank God that uh, we lost no life. So we praise God for that. But also we've got some students and lecturers who have lost their beloved ones uh, due to this COVID. As you also know, that schools here in Malawi are closed and the investor of Livingstone, especially our faculty, wasn't spared. We also had to close. I've been affected much with COVID-19. Schools were closed, churches were closed, 
This makes life not to be simple. It was very hard to adapt. COVID-19 standards have gone down to strengthen home-based Bible study. Other people say prayer cells in homes. It is my prayer. I really desire to see more people being trained. Unilia has shaped my understanding and knowledge of ministry work. Thank you.